So it looks like Honda suits you, Dylan. Uh, fifth place, Anaheim won, and you didn't have much testing coming up to this. You must be pretty pleased with your with your ride. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Uh, very happy. Um, yeah, like you said, uh, we had a short winter. The, this program came up uh, very late, but uh, yeah, everybody buzzed their ass and. Uh, we, we worked very hard and uh, yeah, it was worth it, you know, uh, top five first, first race uh, with a new team is awesome and uh, very happy, very proud of uh, everybody and uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's build from there. And where is the bike percentage wise to where you want it, like 80%, 90% or where do you feel? Uh, I feel awesome but I think we're pretty far from what we are capable okay. to do, like we have a big, uh, we can do a lot of progress I, I feel because uh, like I said, we. The winter was really short for us, and uh, a lot of parts came uh, very late uh, okay. into the, the before before the race. So, no, honestly, I feel I feel very confident. I think we can uh, we can be very much better, and uh, yeah, it's a, like I said, it's a, we're gonna build up from here, and uh, starting like this is a, is, a, is a very good thing. Was well, everything you liked about the Honda when you first tested it? Did that work tonight? How yeah. you envisioned it working? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, I always wanted to ride Honda because I was. Uh, Always uh, think this bike was the best uh, of everyone. Everyone bike and uh, yeah, I mean t tonight I felt it. I felt that the bike was so easy to ride and uh, I mean uh, I, I never got sketchy in the main event. Uh, I, ne I haven't done any major mistake and the bike was super easy to ride. So that that was uh, that what I was looking for and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to make that choice. And on the Yamaha and Supercross 450 Supercross, you never really got the starts very often yeah. to even see the pace to learn it. Tonight was a pretty good start, and you were in the mix. Is that a big factor for Honda, or is yep. it more around the track? Yeah, no, I think uh, I think I was I was complaining about the power on the Yamaha, so I think this 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 bike on the Honda, the power really suited me very well. And uh, yeah, we had good start all day. Main event was a little, uh, I could have been a little better. I made uh, not a mistake, but I wasn't uh, as good as I uh, I can. But still, it was a better start than uh, what I used to have on the Yamaha. And did you grow up watching Sebastian Tortelli and Mikhail Pichon rode Hondas here, I think, 99? Did you grow up and that was sort of where the dream was for Honda or where did the... Uh, my dream to race Honda was a little later, but yeah, okay. I remember for sure when they, yeah. they were here, it was, it, was, it was awesome to watch, even when uh, Sebastian was uh, challenging uh, uh, Carmichael yeah. in, yeah. in the autos, it was, it was great to watch, but no, it was more like... Uh, I think 2021 when I was uh, fighting with uh, with Kenny on the outdoors and uh, also in Supercross with uh, all the HRC rider, I was just uh, jealous of how good the bike was compared mm -hmm. to mine. So that's that's where my dream to race Honda was, I mean, become, you know. And this isn't a factory team. You're used to having a factory team, probably a thousand bits of to test. Are you concerned that you wanted the amount you, you need to test or are you thinking it'll simplify the testing process? I mean... Uh, Today, factory or not factory, I don't know what it means exactly. Uh, we have this group of people that, in this team that are very smart and are, that doesn't count the hours and just wanna just wanna perform, you know. So I think uh, I think this is more important than the, having a factory team or parts. Like uh, mm -hmm. when you have smart people that work very hard and try to improve the bike every day, uh, that's that's what matters and uh, that's what I have in this team. And uh, I'm, very, I'm very proud to working with these people and. Uh, I mean, we showed tonight that uh, you don't need a factory bike. Like, you just need to have smart people mm -hmm. make a good choice on the bike and, uh, and yeah, open the right uh, right throttle. What is it like racing Jet Lawrence now? Whenever you obviously were in CLS Kawasaki and GPs, he was just yeah. a wee kid. Yeah. Now he's the guy to beat tonight. Is that weird for you to see this wee kid uh, at the front? Or? He was a couple, uh, couple months ago, but now, I mean, uh, yeah, we know how good Jet it is. So, yeah. yeah, I'm not surprised. And now we train together also okay. in Florida. So I see him every day at the track and I see the way he rides. Like, uh, I was uh, I was pretty sure we won win tonight. Mm -hmm. um, how close were you to retiring? You said on the Pulp MX show that if you don't get a deal, you might retire. Was that close or did, was there always something in the pipeline for you this season? Uh, I think I was... Maybe not ready to retire, but maybe to ready to have a break okay. and wait for an opportunity. But I was not willing to push too hard to get a, a ride that I didn't really want. You know, like this this team and these people came up together, and uh, I wanted to ride Honda. I okay. wanted to ride Factory Connection, so that was my my dream dream deal. So mm -hmm. I was very happy about that. But if it was for another brand or another team, like maybe I would I would have just wait and see so I don't know I think I still have something in me I proved tonight yeah. like I still can do top five so it was a good thing to not retire
And your goal is still to win a Supercross title. That's what you believe you can still do, I'm sure, yeah. Can you repeat, sorry? Your goal is to win a 450 Supercross title in America now. Yeah, that's I mean, still your, your for sure, for motivation. Sure. Yeah, yeah, that's my goal, my dream. Uh, if I if it wasn't my, my goal, I would not walk this hard. So cool. that's for sure my my biggest biggest uh, goal and dream. And you never had any interest from MXGP teams, or were you not interested in going back? You just wanted to race Supercross again? I don't know. I mean... Uh, the Supercross and uh, even the motocross in the US is uh, so good and I love mm-hmm. it so much that uh, I don't know if I would be able to go back to the MXGP. Okay. Mm, I, I like the, I like it, but it's just different. Like uh, life in America is uh, is very easier for the sports and for yeah. for this uh, yeah this this vibe we had in a Supercross is just so good that it's hard when you, when you taste it, it's hard to come back. And you have nice weather to ride in December. You don't have to race Lomo or ride Lomo. Yeah, yeah, that's that. something I don't miss. But <laughs> at the same time, uh, I mean, uh, it's part of the sport, you know. Like, yeah. uh, if you don't train uh, when it's hard, uh, you cannot expect to win. Huh? Well, you don't. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well done.